special from Ninja. It's our four in one. When we say a four in one, it's a slow cooker, it's an oven, it's a steamer, and it can even operate like a stovetop skillet. This is K42776. It's from our friends at Ninja in a whirlwind of colors. We've got so many beautiful colors for you. Comes along with a recipe book, a travel bag, and Bob Warden is here to give us some great, great guided tours of what we're going to be able to do in the Ninja. And Bob, what's amazing about this? Such capacity and such versatility. Yeah, this has probably been. Uh such a, I don't want to say the most popular because I probably can't say that, but it's always been customer top rated. I always say if you want to hear about all the ways that people are using their Ninja 4 in 1, go up online and read the reviews because people are very inventive. We just sort of give everybody a start here and they go from there. So, what's really revolutionary about this is that this is a skillet, just like your stovetop, very deep, so we can brown things before we slow cook okay. or we can brown them before we bake them, or in this case, steam roast them. And of course, it's also a steamer. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking this big prime rib and I'm browning it first. I'm not going to brown it in the oven where it's going to dry out. I've browned it now. Then I'm going to take that beautiful fawn that's in the bottom. And I'm going to add just some beef stock and to add additional flavor, a whole bunch of garlic and some rosemary. Now this liquid is going to eventually become the gravy and in the meantime as it's reducing, it's going to produce the steam that's going to steam roast this prime rib. Now, why is that important? Well, we cook it faster, but more important, we don't get as much shrinkage. It doesn't dry it out. Where a regular oven, over that two and a half, three hour period that you would be uh, roasting it in the dry oven, it is drying out and losing moisture. So here it is after not two and a half hours, after 55 minutes. So what did we do? If you come around here in front, you'll see that we had it on skillet. So we want to turn it to oven. We're going to set it to 375 degrees. We're going to set the time for an hour and five minutes. In an hour and five minutes in a steam environment, instead of two and a half to three hours in a dry environment, we have a very moist roast. Well, and it's amazing because when you steam roast like this, every single morsel of that roast is going to be melt in your mouth tender, unbelievably juicy. And as we get ready to uh, show you more of the roast, we'll also show you the animation of what's happening inside while you're cooking. Yeah, so we've got heat on the bottom, we've got heat on the sides, we're providing steam from the liquid. So we're surrounding it with, with heat from the top and the bottom, precisely controlled. For a regular oven, we're drying it out. So. Now, David is going to now make the gravy. So what okay. we're going to do is go from, go from the oven setting and we're going to go back to skillet. And we're actually going to make our gravy, which is already greatly reduced. This was the same liquid that provided the steam to roast the roast. You're is just now, getting a few of those stems out of there. Is now going to be used to make the gravy. So we'll add in a little slurry. And then this is going to make the most delicious beef gravy. And I love to get in there and smash uh, the garlic cloves up a little bit. So it just makes it that much more delicious when this starts to thicken. So it's all done in one pot. We browned it in that pot. We steamed it in the oven, and now we're making the, the gravy right out of the same pot. Let me also quickly tell you we have great colors, and this is stainless steel, the one that is closest to Bob. So stainless steel, always a popular choice. This is stainless steel. This is our bright blue. I have it in white. White is the most limited today, Bob, so I wouldn't want anyone to wait on the white. Here it is in red. Or actually, cinnamon. This is black. And finally, I have it for you in the yellow. You're going to get everything you see here from the cooker to the uh, basket, or excuse me, the steamer rack. And then you're also getting your brownie pan, your cookbook, and a, uh, um, uh, a travel bag. Thank you. So, six payments of $23.32. And our value. $196 at retail. You get it today for $139.92 and six payments on the credit card. Look at this roast. And the amazing thing that you get, whether you're doing a chicken or whether you're doing a beef roast or a pork roast or lamb, is even on the outside where you've got the well done piece. Look at the oh moisture my. content. Isn't that beautiful? That moisture content, much of it would have been in a dry oven, evaporated in order to get it to this medium done temperature. Mm -hmm. But in a steam environment, it is all retained, so you get a much moisture uh, flavor. Even this this outside piece, I'm going to cut off for David. It's here, more done, sure. It's more done. It's going to be so juicy, David, mm -hmm. that it's just going to explode between mm -hmm. your tongue and the roof of your mouth. Mm -hmm. mm. Bob, it's tremendous. But let's also talk about quick and easy dinners because remember we're including a cookbook 
with 150 recipes. Yeah, so one of the things we found when we developed this product, we actually were polling people what, they, what their dinner time problems was, is often they come, people come home and they need to throw something in quickly, have a meal on the table in 30 minutes to a half an hour that's easy, that the family can eat, sometimes over a period of time if they don't all sit down together. So 50 of the recipes in this 150 recipe book are what we call one pot meals, where you can take pantry ingredients or frozen ingredients and 30 minutes later, later have a meal on the table. So this is our skillet lasagna. So we've used the skillet setting to brown our uh, hamburger. Then we're going to uh, layer in our noodles. Now all we did was, these are regular dry lasagna noodles. They're not special noodles. We just layer those in there and put a jarred our, sauce. A jarred sauce on top, exactly. And then remember the secret to these dry pasta, frozen pasta recipes is we add the right amount of liquid. This is what took a lot of time in recipe development to determine what is the right amount of liquid. So when we set this now for 30 minutes and we turn it on, 30 minutes later, we can come over here. And check this one out. Now, voila presto. What we did is we also, uh, with about 10 minutes left, we added the cheese mm. on top. Now, this is what we call a skillet lasagna, which means you stir it together. So you stir it, you can see there are all the components oh, nice. that we put in there, right? And you stir it, and then you serve it. People can help themselves, because remember this also has a buffet setting. So now you can set it on buffet, it'll keep it wonderfully warm. People can come home at different times and help themselves to a beautiful, warm lasagna. Could you also use like uh, uh, regular pasta in this and just do like a pasta bake? Absolutely. If you didn't want to do the lasagna noodles? Yeah, ziti bake, whatever you'd, whatever you'd like. And we have several of those in the book. Mm. So once you get the methodology down where you realize you mm. can brown in the same vessel, mm. you can mm -hmm. add steam, you can add heat. Isn't that good? So simple. Hot, but really delicious. Oh my gosh, Bob, and this was 30 minutes. 30 minutes. From raw noodles. From raw noodles. That's amazing. All right, so let's remind everyone that this is six easy payments on the credit card. Everybody's excited about customer top rated. We also have Donna in Texas. Donna, how are you? So great to get to talk to you. Mm. I am such a fan. I, I, I swear, you could sell me an eclipse in August. <laughs> You're awfully sweet. It's nice to have you with us, Donna. Do you own the, the Ninja? The last time I talked to Bob, I hadn't gotten mine yet. Okay. I just ordered it. And now that I have it, I couldn't, I don't know how I lived without it. It makes ribs so delicious. I throw a dry, dry rub it. And throw my ribs in there and then cook them all day and by the time they're done they're sweet good and juicy and they're wonderful oh they're so delicious but anyway i i'm and i love mine i keep it out on my counter all the time it doesn't take up any room um it keeps the kitchen nice and cool they're easy to clean i throw the inner pot into the dishwasher it washes like a dream and then just wipe the outside and the inside out with a damp cloth and it's done. The travel bag is fantastic. Oh, Donna, I'm so, so pleased. I think you could sell me one I of these, Donna. It. Exactly. <laughs> you could come and you can come and join us on the air and you could sell this so well. That's really marvelous. I know, I love it. it. You've really come up with a number one item. And I tell you, I have a lot of appliances, but this one I love. I just think it's just the top drawer. It's just so neat. Well, thank you, Donna. Ho stay tuned because we've got a lot more to share with you today, and we hope yeah. you have oh, a... Yes. One more thing, being in Texas, I appreciate the fact that it doesn't heat up my oven. Yeah. I mean, right, I don't right. have to heat up that oven, and it keeps my kitchen cool. You better believe it. Well, Donna, thank you for your phone call, and we hope you'll come back and visit with us again soon, okay? Uh, it's just such a neat thing to get to talk to you two guys. Thank you. Y'all have a great summer, okay? You Thanks, do the Donna. same, Donna. Take care, sweetie. And keep bringing me good products because I'm fixing to order that really neat rubber squeegee broom thing that you had on her earlier today. Yes, yes. I can't wait to get that because I got a big old patio that's dirty all, all the time. All right. Well, there you so go. We'll I'm get you. Get that. And then you just keep bringing us good stuff because I'll buy it. Will okay. do, Miss Donna. Thank you. Thank you. Bye David. bye now. Have a great afternoon. You too, sweetie. Be well. Bye bye. All right. So you made baked beans from scratch, and when you say scratch, you mean dry beans, dry right? Dry beans it took about eight hours, but the flavor difference when you, you know, cook from dry beans, David, you have to taste this. Now we used the slow cooker function on that. Uh, we didn't have to brown anything first except the bacon. We browned the bacon. Just a little, little taste here and before then, we wrap up. Then we did the slow cooking. 
And remember, it's a four-in-one, so it's also mm. a steamer, even mm. though we didn't get mm. time to show it. There's our And steam, steam your corn, corn for your summer get-together. And remember, that keeps it warm so people can help themselves right from the cooker. Corn will be in season here soon, so everybody grab their, their fresh corn on the cob. I do want to let you know now over 400 of these are gone. We have the yellow, the black, cinnamon, white, bright blue, and stainless, but the white is the most limited. Please don't wait on that white. Six easy payments on the credit card. Bob, thank you. Thank Good you, to David. have you back. Now. We're going to be talking about Corky's here very shortly, but let's first remind you that we have the Traeger coming up. This isn't just a grill. This is also a slow cooker. 